This is a statue of Ariel, but it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here. Do you need something? Me too. Let's just get this over with. Alright then. These Falmer, they're frozen in the ice. I wonder how long they've been like this. And I thought the soul cam was creepy. Who's there? Hide from us. What have you got? Man off, I suppose. Best of 
Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. What have you got? <laughs> Impressive display, but a wasted effort. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Watch out! He's falling down the ceiling! Finish! Uh, I don't think so. You're not 
on the balcony. Come on. Enough, Werther. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelabor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me! I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost! You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire? Ariel's bow? It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single, final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Come and face You're your dead. destruction! Centuries of preparation will not fall to ruin because of you! So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Werther must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. 
You risked everything to get Auriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. If there's anything at all I can help you with, please ask. The bow was said to be carried by Auriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance, but over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time, so if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. While it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory, that time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves, nestled elsewhere on Nern. I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. For the time being, I will remain here, on the Overlook, and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. It's... not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. Let's just get this over with. I just need to feed on blood. Your dragon blood. Thank you.
Yes. But what about you? I'm ready. Okay. True. I never had a friend before. That's my sad story. That makes sense. Do you want me to give the gift to you? I see. Well, here I am. Why don't you get closer? And I'll do the rest. That's what I wanted to hear. What's our next move? I understand now. I was the gift to Molik Ball. My blood is the gift for vampires to die, so vampires control the world. I guess it's my job to be giving. But nobody's ever asked to be friends. My parents, they're both so toxic. Thanks. Lead on.